Chris here, and welcome back to another video. I know it's been quite a while since I uploaded another generator build log, but uh, I haven't had much time to work over here, here being my dad's house. Um, I was waiting for some stuff to happen, and uh, yeah, I basically just couldn't record various reasons. But what I did get done is actually pretty good. Also, there were a few times when my camera was out of battery, I forgot my SD cards, stuff like that. So, what I did over here is I put the chain back on the gears because it fell off like nine times. Um, okay, so I also drilled a hole for the shaft that runs from the outside gear to right there. My camera's snagged. There we go. And it runs straight there so it can turn and stuff. But I don't want to twist it too much. Because the chain will come off again. And also, as you can see here, I got this piece of wood mounted. Uh, with two bars in the middle. I just put those in there with two holes I drilled, stapled them in. And then I made a hole in the middle. So the rope is going to be coming in the middle and this... Um, nice rounded soft, not soft, but just uh, smooth, smooth metal is to prevent the rope from fraying over time uh, as best as I can. Those are actually stainless steel rods I got out of a printer god knows how long ago. And then I just custom made these brackets here and there and then two on the other side and drilled holes, put screws in them. Now that thing is pretty good on there. So you may notice this little apparatus I have going here with the wire going all the way to the spool of wire I have over here. Let's move that on a bit. Um, that's because I'm stripping this wire down to the bareness of it because, well, A, I have the time to do it, and B, I want to use this kind of wire for my coils. Which this is a quote unquote prototype. I mean, this is going to be one I use as a test, and this is definitely not going to be the overall design for them. For the overall design, I'm going to be doing something much less consumative of tape. I mean, that that just used like 10 yards of tape or something. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get stripped into a lot of this stuff. I'm going to strip a lot of this wire, so you can see I already got some. That. I just got my pocket knife and my gloves over there. And I have these two clamps holding it down so I can work on it. As it turns out, um, by the way, I got all the wires stripped and finished. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of wire. Um, as it turns out, I actually need to drill holes in this thing, which this is a bit of. It used to be some. Uh, God, why can't I can't think of it. Conduit, and I. Uh, here, I'll show you guys. I cut it once like this, and once like this, and then I pounded it out so I had four things going out. And then I just cut it in half on the top and had two prongs coming out. So, uh, yeah, and then I just coated it in tape, electrical tape. So I need to drill one hole about the size of this wire 
in there so I can have it uh, um, sticking out the top while I wind it around. So uh, yeah, I'll be back in a few minutes. I have the hole drilled in it. <coughs> um, that's the hole. This is going to be one of the terminals, or it will be one of the terminals. After all, this is just a uh, test, so I don't be, I don't really need this to be perfect per se. This is just a proof of concept thing. I mean, I know it'll work. I just want to see how well it will work. So uh, yeah, now I just gotta wind this cable around that. So you want to uh, have it at least half done or something. So here it is. This is my test coil. So we have it going in here and then it's on the inside and it wraps around a bajillion and five times and it comes back out here. So uh, what I'm going to do now, I mean, when I make like 36 or a whole bunch of these coils, they're going to be um, different core, meaning different thing that the wire's on. The wire is going to be a lot neater, and it's going to be thicker, bigger coil. As it is, it has a good bit of weight to it. That's because, well, like 10 feet of uh, wire on here, so. Uh, yeah, my dad's multimeter is somewhere over there, which I'm going to be using to measure the current. Uh, let's see here. Somewhere down here, I have a bunch of magnets that I've gotten from different things. The two big ones here are from a microwave. Yes. And they're strong magnets. So that one through my entire fist is just kind of hanging on for dear life. That's how here you can tell where there's a um, metal beam inside like you see the screws there, it's a metal support. Because it'll stop like right on it. And yeah, it puts up resistance when it's going to leave that. Yeah, it's it's a strong magnet, so uh yeah, I'm gonna work out how I'm gonna get this thing to spin pretty fast. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Uh yeah, it's less than optimal, but this is what I've come up with, just a few nails holding it down, nail holding that wire. That is conductive, but I don't think that should do much, seeing as it's not touching the negative, which is up here. Um, so you have my multimeter here, and then here we have the rotor. So this is just a proof of concept design using the two magnets I have. Uh, just kind of nailed them down like that. Praying to God that they don't break the entire time. Um, yeah, and here we got the multimeter. It's two leads. So uh, I'm going to set up my tripod, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Here we go. I'm going to connect the negative lead up to this stuff here at the top. Just twist it around the lead. Wait, no. I'm going to need my super duper small pliers for this. Okay. It took longer than it should have, and then the positive lead there, that should be about good. So these conditions are all less than optimal. I'll set this to DC current, or volts, right now. Okay, go to detecting. Uh, okay, let's get started here. So, magnet coil test. Can you guys see the multimeter? Here. Um, I don't know if you see guys can see the multimeter. There we go. There we go. You guys can see the multimeter. I'm just going to put the quote unquote rotor here. Okay, so. Ow. Okay. Fail. We are back. I just got it to work again. 
Also, I changed it from uh, volts DC to millivolts DC because I forgot that this is an incredibly small current and I will end up making a homemade transformer and running it through said transformer. So, uh, let's get to work. Let's get it to work. Uh, so I literally just got this to work. I put all the leads back. I had to re-anchor this thing down. This thing better not come up again. So as you can see now, we're getting a... Well, when I'm going. Take my gloves off now because those are just snagging me up. Once we get it going, we have a solid... Sometimes we have a solid uh, 2 or so volts. 2 or so millivolts. And, uh, this coil is not perfect, nowhere near it. Um, so I'd say that's a success. And then notice when we stop, it goes down to zero, but when we start spinning it again, because it's my fingers, it'll end up spinning a lot faster than this. Yeah, that's, uh, proof that magnets pick up nails. Uh, <laughs> that's, a uh, proof of concept right there. And one thing that I want to show you guys, if I can find it, it's somewhere here. Where the heck did I put it? But, uh, yeah, anyways. Put the voltmeter away, just turned it off. So I will end up making a bunch of these, putting them in a circle. Uh, where's my two magnets? Getting a bunch more of these magnets, mounting them on here better because as it is now they're just loose and loose. So I'm gonna get a bunch more magnets out of a bunch more microwaves. I'm gonna strip down a bunch of lot of more wire. Um, geez, um is the word of the day here, isn't it? Cut. Okay, so what I was trying to say before my tongue just flew straight out of my mouth and my brain disconnected. <laughs> I'm going to get a bunch more magnets. I'm going to strip more wire. I'm going to come up with a better design for coils. I forgot that that stuck to the magnet there. I'm going to make a bunch more coils and this is thin and I'm going to have a bigger belt, uh, a bigger pulley for the belt, probably about this big around. I'm going to have a belt going to this, which is going to make this spin super fast off of the graphic generator over there. Let's pick up my camera stand. So that thing, it already has this gear chain making it faster. I still have to perfect the gear chain and all that stuff. Hey, I'm whacking the tripod on this stuff. And so we're going to get this coil a bunch more times working a lot better and then I'm going to make a homemade transformer which personally I think is going to be pretty cool and also big because I like things that are big so yeah this has been Alex and I'm out I'll see you guys next time in a few days I'm going to get a dowel rod and I'm going to mount it right here and I'm going to put something sandwiching the gear in, or the chain in here so that it stays on the same level as it's supposed to be. So it doesn't just come off the gear like it is now. And then I'm going to get that in working order. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to be prototyping a bunch of coils. Because I have Tuesday off. So uh, I'm probably going to be prototyping more coils. So yeah, see you guys then.